flat, so we bout to go get the bag Got my ice strap, hold it to your back This shit really slack, so we bout to go get the bag Damn, bitch I in my bag Bitch I in my bag, ooh, bitch I in my bag Got my ice strap, hold it to your back This shit really slack, so we bout to go get the bag Damn, bout to get the bag Feel like Jack and Dax with the chopper on my lap Bitch I in my bag like an Oscar the Grouch I chase no clout, bitch, I ain't no clown I found a sound and I started spitting shit I ride around with that motherfucking stick Pull up in a whip and I empty out the clip Spitting bipolar, flow gon' do the switch like Head is still, when I'm dripping head to toe Hate a 9 to 5, so I had to change a decimal <laughs> Hello, my name is Shay, and clearly if you click on this video, you're looking for some Gymshark dupes. Ain't nobody trying to break their bank, trying to buy some lightings, girl, okay? So if you like me and you broke, high key, low key, whatever, like, we gonna review some leggings. So girl, I'm cheap as hell. I researched the hell out of these leggings, okay? I, I watched every single Gymshark dupe, Gymshark lookalike, everything. I read all the reviews on the website. I was a little skeptical because I found these leggings, and I'm like, girl... I don't know. I just came back from the gym and I'm wearing the leggings, so we're gonna review them today so you can save your coin, sis. So I did all the research so you don't have to. So just sit back, watch this review, and you're gonna be buying these leggings by the end of this video. I guarantee it. So if you're like most gym goers, how many times do you see those gym shark ads just popping up all places, okay? So I, I want those leggings. That was my main goal. But then I looked on the site and I'm like, hmm, $80 for a pair of pants, $60 for a bra that I probably ain't gonna fit in? I was like, nah. Hell nah. I ain't trying to break my bang for some gym shark. So I went and found every single dupe out there, okay? And I found this store called Nepoa Gym. And I researched the shit out of it. Literally, I watched every single review video, every single try on, and I ordered some. And I'm happy. And I want to share that with you today. So boy, do I got a leggings video for you today, because we're going to review some leggings. So let's start with the front, because everybody finna see you from the front. You know what I'm saying? So we got this nice quad pattern that goes all the way down. And if you notice that it has this moral girl. I learned that word today. So moral means this like, you know, you know that static, you know when the TV cuts out and shit, that pattern? Yeah, that's moral. Mm -hmm. So you got this nice quad pattern, then we, let's talk about the waist, okay? Now this waist, I like how hot it goes, because it covers up the little tummy, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I have an issue with is that if you got a little fupa, this part ain't gonna hold it in, girl. It's gonna make it look worse, like it, it's horrible. So this is what the crotch looks like, and this is called a, a gusset, is that what they call it? It, sound, it sounds dirty, but gusset crotch, and it, it don't let you have no camel toe, because usually when there's a seam in the front, so these are seamless, when there's a seam in the front, that's when it says hello to yo camel. So we ain't got no camel toe here. And then from the back. So it has this little booty contour, girl. Let me tell you something about this booty contour. It just sucks it all in and just makes it look good. Like I'm gonna put some clips of my booty in these pants, and I was like, girl, I've been hiding that this whole time. Where they at? Where the cheeks at? They were sleeping. So let me tell you something. This booty contour, girls, do it everything. And then we have this little fake, it's like a, it's like a, it's not a seam, it's like a fake seam, you know? So it kind of just, it like gets in there and it just holds them cheeks and just supports them. And it's like, they come out to play. So you got some nice cheek action going on, you know? It's very flattering. Let me just say something, because when I first ordered this and I got it in the mail, I looked at this and I'm like, who this going to fit? I don't remember shopping at Baby Gap. Cause this look tiny as hell. Like I am five seven. I'm tall. I got legs for days. I was like, who the hell is gonna fit? <laughs> but then I tried it on, and it kind of looks like it stretches. <laughs> and then it stretched all over, and I was like, all right, no problem. Now the ankles. Okay, so I'm five seven. I pull it all the way up 
to my waist like ridiculously high so I'm pretty sure if I wore this normally it would come up to like my ankles but it doesn't <laughs> so if you wear it properly I'm sure it literally will look ankle length another thing these are sweat proof okay girl like the amount of sweat today I had at the gym I was like girl are you gonna have some water for today are you gonna have some sweat to live like I think I sweated my body weight in sweat like I did a good workout I, I just don't normally sweat like that so I was like what's wrong with me but these pants ain't showing nothing for the material it is very stretchy and I like that because it really like it doesn't show like too much cellulite not that I have a lot of cellulite but it doesn't it doesn't like like your booty gonna jiggle it's not gonna give you that compression you know what I mean like you're gonna feel some like jiggle 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 I'm gonna show you some videos okay no problem I'm not doing a good, a good job of describing this uh, the top part I feel like it's very it's not very compressiony I find personally and it, it, it definitely is stretchy enough like the material here is a, a lot thicker and harder than the material here let's read the materials so it is 50% polyester 45% nylon 5% spandex it is seamless with love that's so cute now I ordered two sets so I ordered two pairs of pants and two tops and thank god I ordered them like I was gonna buy like a shitload of clothes but I was like you know what let me make sure I know my size first and thank god I did so I ordered a medium in the I feel like this is the indigo and I ordered a medium in steel blue both are mediums did you hear that I'll repeat both are mediums this is, it fits me like an, a large, even like an extra large, if anything. It is so big on me. The waist comes way too high, so my stomach just pokes out. And I don't find it really sucks in my booty a lot because it's too big. So definitely this color, if you're going to order this color, I would size one down. And I'm pretty sure they said that on the site, Shade and Listen. Uh, the gray ones that I'm wearing right now, these fit perfectly. I lied. I'm sorry, I lied to you. <laughs> they fit better than the indigo ones, so I'm a lot happier with them and I wear the gray more often, but I feel like it could have been a little bit more snug. So when I ordered again from the store, I ordered a small. And those packaging should be coming today, so hopefully I can do another review video on what I ordered. I cannot wait. Let's talk about the tops, okay? Because your girl's busty as hell. I am bigger than a double D. No shocking. And I ordered the seamless top because your girl trying to look cute in the gym. I just want to look cute. I just want to have a matching set. Is that so hard to ask for? But I knew that if these pants fit snugly, that I'm going to have to get the largest size in the top to feel comfortable because I am busty in a front. If only I was blessed in the back like that, but I'm not. So this is seamless. I ordered large. They only come in small, medium, large, so I assume that this would be big enough. It is 50% polyester, 46 nylon, 4% spandex. Seamless with love, okay? So the back has these nice little designs and this waist okay for somebody who is bustier if you are not wearing a bra with this you're you just gonna look saggy like it ain't it ain't cute like it, it won't hold them up you gotta support yourself first before something else can support you you know what i mean i feel like that's good life advice but pretty much if you put this on and you ain't wearing no supportive bra like it just gonna it just it ain't it ain't gonna look cute, you know what I mean? So I usually wear like a sports bra under my stuff, but even that's not even supportive. So just so you know, it, it is n I don't find it is compressive. And a lot of the girls that I see trying these on got like itty bitty titties. So like for them busty girls, I'm just letting you know. I'm putting it out there. Like if you're trying to like sprint in this, run in this, like girl, don't even try it. I really really. 
I was really indecisive about buying like the long sleeve just because I like to be breathable you know like I don't like to be like restricted but I really thought this was cute everybody looks cute in them so I got this one the only thing is that this part right here it is so tight okay like it goes up to there that's how tight it is but it's like really tight on your wrist so I feel like Pulling it up is very hard, but once you get up there, it looks cute, you know? It's got this nice little thumb hole, which I never used. I usually keep my thumb out, but like, I mean, if you a thumb hole type of girl, I mean, this is for you. Now that I think about it, maybe if I bought like a medium, it probably would have fit a lot better, but I didn't want to take that chance because your girl's busty. And I was just trying to, you know, have a matching set. I wasn't trying to wait on it. So I, everybody loved this color on me because just, it really goes with my skin. So we talked about the material, the sizing, definitely size up on the, sorry, definitely size down on the indigo for some reason. Uh, I was reading online and it says that because the dye, the way it takes to certain materials makes it tighter or smaller. So I just assumed that the medium that I ordered was the like real sizing, which is why I ordered small for the next set. So let's see how that fits. But I'm pretty sure like this color runs bigger. The gray definitely is more snug more compressive the large tops in both colors for me I find fit the same which is kind of weird it's it was mostly the leggings that I had an issue with so let's just talk about my experience with them in the gym when I am in the gym I like to be flexible I like to bend snap twist crack popple you know all that all that okay and if my leggings don't let me do that I will not be wearing them again. Like, I hate them stiff ass leggings that I can't do nothing in. These leggings are the opposite of that, okay? They're very flexible and they move with me. Uh, I stretch with these and I don't get that, like, tight bunching up that I get with some leggings. And I really love these. They are comfortable enough for me to do leg days in them, like, full, heavy heavy leg days with compound movements so I'm so happy for that because I honestly was kind of worried about these leggings I thought I would order these and they would be towed up when I got them just ain't looking cute see-through all that no they were actually really good let's talk about the store so the store is Napoa gym they ship from China they now just opened a US store which is perfect because I'm in Canada so this order would have shipped faster if I had actually put the right post the code but your girl is <laughs> and I messed up so you know what we just ordered a second set me and my friend we just ordered it and it it's supposed to arrive away that would be two weeks so I'm definitely satisfied with this store their customer service is a one let me tell you girl I messaged them they were on that they messaged me right away if you follow them on Instagram and you post a picture in your story they will they will repost it. They will thank you and they will talk to you. They look, they just sound friendly. Now, there is another store that sells these leggings and it's called Munster. I researched this one and the reviews weren't that great. They still have leggings for them. I ordered one pair. So we gonna see what these leggings look like and then we gonna see if we can order from them again. But I was watching one girl's review and it was like, you see this part in the leggings? So she ordered, I think it was gray leggings, right? And then this part was just pink. I'm gonna just let you use your imagination for that one, but ain't nobody trying to have no pink up in there, you know what I mean? Gray leggings with a pimp, pink crotch? That's just weird. And she was like, why? So me, I'm just like, okay, no problem. Ain't gonna order from But I'm very happy with the store. I'm just gonna show you a little clip of how the, the website looks. It's very easy to use. It's very user-friendly. This is a non-sponsored video, by the way. Like, I'm just in love. That says a lot. I ain't even paid to do this. And I'm doing it. For free. So that's it for the leggings video. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you plan on buying this, leave me a comment down below. Ask me any questions you want. And if you want some more leggings review, let me know down below. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe to see more of me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.